Hi, my name is Linda, and in this video, we'll learn how to do a headstand. We'll focus on targeting and strengthening the muscles that are needed to bring us up into a headstand quickly and safely. Let's begin. So to work on doing a headstand, we have to work on upper body strength. In the headstand, there's not a lot of pressure on the top of the head, and there's not a lot of pressure on the neck. The foundation of the posture is your shoulders, your upper arms, your upper chest, and your upper back. So the way we strengthen those muscles is we come onto our knees. If you have rings on, you definitely want to take them off. They could be very uncomfortable trying to hold yourself up into a headstand. So you don't have to worry initially about uh, falling over or being up against the wall. Initially, we're going to be keeping our feet on the mat so you don't have to worry about balance. We're focusing on the upper body and how it feels to be in the position for a headstand. So interlace your fingers. The palms of your hands are open. Lean forward and bring your elbows onto the mat. Now bring your head down and adjust your head so that you're either on the crown of the head or slightly towards the forehead. And the open palms of your hands are supporting the back of your head. Now adjust your elbows so that they're in a position that when you press them down, you're pulling your shoulders away from your ears and you can strongly engage the muscles in your shoulders and your upper arms and your forearms. Now curl your toes under and then raise the hips. You're keeping your toes on the ground. You're straightening your knees. Press down on your elbows, your forearms, Feel the shoulders strongly engaged. Pull them away from the ears. Shouldn't feel a lot of pressure on their neck. You're holding yourself up with your arms, your upper body strength. And then let your knees come down. Relax for a moment. See if you need to reposition. See if you need to find a better position for your, for your arms or the top of your head. And then once again, turn the, co the toes under, straighten the knees, hold, pressing down on the elbows and the forearms, engaging the shoulders, upper arms, upper back strength. Neck should feel nice and comfortable. Top of the head should feel comfortable. And then release and come down. Now, if you stay in that position for a while, before you come straight up, you'll want to create a pillow with your hands, rest your forehead on the top of your hands, and just let the circulation of blood level out before you slowly come up into a seated position again. So you'll practice that first step as many times as you need to. So you start feeling stronger and stronger in the upper body. And then the second step that we'll do will involve being over to a wall. We still don't need to worry too much about our balance. Um, our feet won't be on the ground, but they will be up against the wall. So the way we do that, bring your mat close to the wall and come back far enough so that your feet are touching the wall and you bring your elbows down, interlace your fingers, top of the head, palms of your hands are supporting the back of your head, just as you practice with your toes on the ground. And then raise the hips, and this time walk your feet up, to the, up the wall just a little bit so that you're at a right angle. Now to hold in this position, it's taking a lot more upper body strength than it did when you just had your feet on the mat. So this is the second part that you'll practice to get your upper body stronger and stronger. And then come down just as you did before. Bring your knees down, create a pillow, rest your head on that pillow and then slowly come up. So that's the second part 
that you'll practice over and over again, feeling more and more comfortable with holding yourself up without putting pressure on the neck and the top of the head. Once you're very comfortable with that, this time we will still be by the wall, but our back will be towards the wall. So now we'll start bringing our feet up. We won't bring them up all the way. We'll start with them halfway up. So usually when you do a headstand, um, the concern is that you're going to fall straight over. Well, we have the wall to keep us from falling straight over, but most likely <laughs> you'll fall to the side. So you want to make sure that there is nothing around you that you can fall onto. Um, is you won't really hurt yourself by falling, but if you fall on something hard, you'll hurt yourself just because you fell on something. So interlace your fingers and your hands will be about a foot, maybe a little bit less away from the wall. Bring your head down, adjust your shoulders and your elbows, adjust the top of your head, curl your toes under, and raise your hips, Get balanced here and then start inching your toes towards your torso. Now you can just maybe raise one foot or you can raise two. Keep your knees bent. Keep the thighs close to your torso. You'll feel nice and balanced. You won't have to worry about falling back. And once again, this is like the third step where it's taking even more upper body strength to hold yourself up in this position. to come down, bring your toes down, bring your knees down, bring your heels down, your, your hips down, and relax for a moment. And then slowly bring the torso up. So that's the third stage. So the fourth stage is actually getting the legs up in the air. But each one of these stages, you'll practice as long as you need to. You don't do them all in one day. Uh, you have to keep working on that upper body strength. And that's what each one of these steps is doing. So the fourth and final stage is the legs coming all the way up. So you do want to do this initially by a wall. Make sure that there's nothing on the wall that you're going to hit with your feet and that may fall on you. Turn to face the wall, bring your hands down till they're about a foot away from the wall, maybe a little bit closer. Curl your toes under, bring the top of your head down. Lift the hips. Inch your toes towards your torso. Bring the feet up, knees are still bent. Get your balance here. Once you feel balanced here, you can slowly bring the legs up and then hold. You want to be close enough to the wall so that if you feel yourself going over, your, your heels will hit the wall. And then to release the posture. Stop bending from the hips. Now, if you can stay in this position for a while, this is an extremely strengthening position. This is more strengthening than having your legs straight up. You'll feel the triceps and the biceps strongly engage and hold here for a little while if you can, and then continue bringing the feet down, bring your knees down, Rest your forehead on your hands. Let the circulation level out. And then slowly bring your torso up. So I hope you found this video helpful on learning how to do a headstand. If you did, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe to the channel. And thank you for joining me. Namaste.